Good evening, Mid-Missouri. It's been a cold and cloudy one with even a little bit of drizzle out there today. We're going to keep that cold and cloudy trend into the overnight hours. Uh, in fact, we may start to see a little bit of fog early tomorrow morning. Those temperatures, they drop into the low 30s. We'll have a little bit of wind, though, and that's one of the reasons we're dropping so fast down to the near freezing. So that may help keep some of that fog mixed up. But even there, uh, there's a chance. Uh, as we head throughout the early morning hours, we are fighting a lot of cloud cover. This cloud cover is going to be stubborn. Uh, we will see some chances for sunshine tomorrow. In fact, it's a better chance at sunshine than we saw today. So overall, it's an improvement. But the story is still, uh, again, that cloud cover lingering and struggling to get out of here. We got close tonight. Uh, take a look towards the west of Kansas City there. That was a the clearing line that just kind of stalled out uh, and didn't quite make it here before sunset. We stayed cloudy throughout the day and in fact early tomorrow morning again high pressures moving in that will have some light wind out of the north uh, for us early tomorrow but again conditions may be just calm enough for some to get a little bit of fog developed. Otherwise again we're starting in the low 30s for a lot of us. Uh, we're looking at temperatures warming back into the mid 40s throughout Sunday afternoon and that's where we see our best chance for some broken cloud cover and some peaks of sunshine. Again, we're staying dry, not seeing uh, really any chance for precipitation on your Sunday, so we're going to be dry. We're going to be dry likely all the way into Monday as well. Can't rule out some light drizzle with some of those low clouds early tomorrow, uh, but overall we're dry from here on out through Monday. Monday we're starting cool with free near freezing temperatures, just they're dipping in with that uh, line into northern parts of mid-Missouri, but heading into Monday afternoon, again, we're looking at more wind out of the south as that high pressure is sl slid away to our east, and we're going to pick up these south winds, and that's going to warm us back to near 50 for Wednesday afternoon. Heading into Tuesday, or excuse me, Monday afternoon, heading into your Tuesday, Tuesday morning, we're talking about enough wind out of the south that we're starting to pull in enough moisture that we could see some chances for rain by early Tuesday morning. We've got an, a large upper level system that's going to be pulling a system through uh, the Midwest. Notice we've got this triple point area. We've got a a occluded front, a cold front, and a warm front. That's going to keep the severe chances to our south. We're going to keep the chances for severe storms south of that low, but we may encounter a little bit of thunder with some of this rain that pulls through on Tuesday. Overall, it's a wet day Tuesday. We'll keep widespread chances for rain in the forecast throughout the majority of your day, but it's out of here by Tuesday night, and we're looking at some sunshine trying to work on in. This is overnight hours, but uh, these clear skies stick around for your Wednesday morning, so if you're heading out for the one-for-one -one food drive, we're looking sunny to partly cloudy throughout the afternoon. But we will see cold air fill in on the backside. We may also see some low clouds try to stick around. If those low clouds want to produce any kind of precipitation, we're going to be well to the north of our snow line here. And we're going to be well enough into this, this polar cold air uh, that we could see a few flurries. That's still a big question mark as we head towards the end of the seven-day forecast. But uh, there is a pretty good sign that we're going to be cooling pretty significantly. Right now we've got Wednesday at partly cloudy. Thursday and Friday is looking like it's going to be a bit on the cloudy side. Eh, we could see a slim chance for a little bit of precipitation. If we see any kind of wintry weather Thursday and Friday, it should be minimal and not impactful. And uh, we are trending towards a colder weekend next weekend.